Hey guys, welcome to that to Kerbal Space Program, where today, well, it's kind of a bit of a toss-up. Are we going to Minmus? Are we rescuing people from Kerbin Orbit? We're just tossing it around everywhere, so we're going to have to see what's going on. But first up, you'll remember we came back with a whole load of science. Um, which means, well, before we even go anywhere, we're just like, solar panels, yes. Right, I'm just, oh, we need to buy these as well. Right, I never use these. Let's not do that. I want these ones, yes. Uh, I don't, uh, do you guys ever use these um, covered ones? I, I, I never... Uh, are they better for drag or what? What's the, what's the point? I mean, aren't they, like, physics disenabled? Disenabled's a word, right? Surely. <laughs> right, disabled. I, the other thing I want, I want so slightly larger parts because ah oh, and some radial engines okay so these are the things that i needed like seriously what have we got here we've got a science lab i don't know if we're quite up to lab specifications yet though we are getting pretty close towards that but more importantly we're gonna have some fuel lines boom done Whew. Whew. asparagus staging here we come uh we need to buy certain bits so we want that we want the uh, attachment fuel lines as well perhaps a tiny little engine how how's my my money going uh well, yeah we're doing all right we are about four times the amount of money we were at last time uh yeah about four times the amount of money we had last time um oh uh struts struts were were very much a must from last time if you remember perhaps we should get a stability enhancer some radial decouplers and these little triforce things i like i never use them um but uh, it's nice to have them uh somewhere there is oh wow look at all this do 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 um before we do that, should we do some docking ports? Like, they're important, right? And we can get a container and the multispectral imaging platform. My, doesn't that sound important? That's 160 science. Do we want to do that rather than any of these others? So, I mean, to be fair, a keythane drill would be very useful right now. But we are still quite close to everything. So we don't, I don't think we need to go out and get any keythane as of, you know what, I'm going to do it, docking ports, let's do it, boom, <laughs> feel powerful on the snap decision, yeah, okay, let's just go through, and now, I'm probably going to do a fairly, um, little bit boring part, where I go around and just click on all the things that I want, because I'm playing hard mode, inverted commas. Okay, well, that's all the science done. So what we're going to do now is go in and see Gene. All right, guy. Um, and we're going to have a look through these contracts. Now, I think because I've got all the docking ports and stuff, that makes it very much necessary that we start on a base up top. Uh, up top? Yeah, that's orbits up top, right? Of course. Yeah, we start, we start on a base in low curve in orbit to get... Um, have a little shuttle that can go around and pick them up really easily perhaps with some sort of Soyuz style um fly out and return thing we can we can like role play it's a delivery package or something i don't know i don't know so anyway that's what i want to do now we're going to go rescue this kerbin kerbin kerbal all right so it's not quite a space station uh, that i promised not quite the space station that i promised but i'm missing uh, a few bits with the science that i have to be able to make this space station the glorious oneness that i have in my brain um in particular i'm missing things like uh, tiny docking ports and uh, a, a variety of other things uh, i have started work on like habitation modules and stuff like that, somewhere to keep all the kerbals basically uh, also a little science bit um science station and stuff like that but we're missing major things to make that effective instead of just having basically a hitchhiker's platform up top that I've got to try and fly an entire ship up to hook up to and all this sort of stuff. So what we're going to do instead is put this up into low orbit, grab um, whatever the Kerbal's name was. Have I not actually taken on the contract? Uh, Camp Top. Camp Top's um, Camp Top Kerman. And then we're going to bring him home. Uh, that, that, should be, that should be fairly good, right? Okay, so let's go to the launch pad. Okay, so I'm not anticipating any troubles at all with this flight, which means we're probably going to have a horrendous time. Oh, God, uh, he is just beyond, so let's go. Let's go, 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 go. So a little bit late, but pff, whatever. All right, so standard takeoff maneuvers. Oh, look at Jeb. He's gonna, he just has to be the hero, right? Uh, standard takeoff maneuvers. We're just going to go up. 
for a very long time. Uh, everything seems to be fl fl functioning fine. Uh, I, if, we'll know if we're going to make it if the solid fuel burns out at about 10 kilometers. I say about. Um, and we're still going strong on the liquids. Uh, that, that is generally my, my marker for success, or, or at least how I know if there will be any success or not. Okay, um, rendezvousing with said little matey should be relatively easy as well. Uh, he is on a nice non-inclined uh, non orbit, so we just need to throw ourselves into an equatorial one. Oh, something's burning the wrong way. Uh, okay, do we do we have enough push? I really doubt we have enough push. Okay, so with that failed mission, I think we're gonna have to. I don't know. Th this won't make it up. Th th this won't make it up at all. Uh, well, we're just gonna have to go down then, aren't we? Let's turn around, thrust down. I reckon we can go quicker than the debris. Surely, hopefully. I mean, we've got a lot of fuel to be able to waste up for this. <laughs> waste up. Um, right, so, let's just thrust down, but basically this flight is over here, um, that, that's annoying, I must have put my separatrons on the wrong way, in fact I, I saw that I did put my separatron on the wrong way, it's a little bit annoying, but there we go, that's, that's life, life is annoying, no not that way, that way, let's start bringing our nose up, we don't want to be coming down full pelt. Uh, I'm not going to be making a rocket assisted landing, I do have a lot of parachutes and stuff, I just want to get down a little bit lower. Because um, as as I have said many, 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 many times before, oh look, they're dropping faster than me, uh, I do dislike landings, it's just the floating on parachutes, it's boring. <laughs> we get to watch everything blow up right next to us. So I'm labelling that past flight as a roaring successful test flight. Uh, it showed us all the problems that we had, so you know that that's all we can ask for a test flight, right? Because that that's what it was, most definitely a test flight, not a botched first flight. Uh, right. So anyway, um, we're, we're flying again with the same ship. Uh, I did notice at this time that we are pushing like 200, 300 meters per second down in the lower atmosphere, which might be a bit fast, you know, we, we could very much be uh, going a little bit slower, a little bit less oomph in there. Uh, people have told me about this before, I should throttle down those, those solid fuels, but you know, what, whatever. Um, and then we just kind of wait to, to get into some sort of like high enough uh, altitude to, to start this lean over. The problem I did have was that it, it was very hard to keep this, this rocket stable. These three big engines on the bottom are non-gimbling engines. And well, you know, as you know, without engine gimbal, it all becomes exceedingly difficult to keep things pointed in the right direction. At this point my game plan is very much just to get my Apple apps up to about 80 kilometers. Then we'll think about circularizing the burn. Um, we want to try and get as much uh, maneuvering, positioning, um, orbital insertion, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, done as possible with these big engines uh, before we dump them to hopefully crash in the atmosphere on the other side of the planet. Uh, now the problem I've got with that is that our Kerbal has gone and got himself further round in our orbit than the uh, well than where we took off from uh, because of the highly successful uh, test flight. Uh, this means that I was kind of hoping to meet him here at the top of this arc. I mean, it would have been really nice to just jump up, get him in the arc, slow him down enough to, to get into the ship and then drop back down in one fluid motion. But that was never going to happen. So what we're going to do instead is point in this funny direction and just get our Apple apps up to about 100 kilometers so that we're, at least one of our markers is in the same place as the other guy, as the, the Kerbals. Um, now, I, I'm seeing here that he is a very very long uh, far away ahead so I need to try and uh, keep my peri apps as low as possible whilst not pushing my apple apps above his orbit so that we can start catching up because obviously smaller orbits go faster than quicker orbits so we can get get there um, nice and quickly and, and catch up with him and then we can do all sorts of weird maneuvery bits uh, this means that we gotta wait until the top of our arc as I just did and then we just gotta circularize out and um, 
decouple like this. That was the word I was looking for, decoupling. Uh, at this point, I'm like, ah, I didn't put any probe bodies on this, uh, so we're going to have to watch them go through the atmosphere because the atmosphere, if we're not watching, doesn't get modelled because um, they're going to be well outside the 2.5 kilometre range by the time they actually get to the atmosphere, which you know, is a bit rubbish, but that's the way it is in Kerbal. You know, I, I don't want it really trying to, to uh, model everything on the game because that, that would just get very confusing very quickly. Well, not even just very confusing. I mean, it'll get very recess, uh, resource intensive. And if you watch my computer, uh, my computer is struggling already. Uh, up in the top left, we've got the, the, the time counter there. You see it keeps flashing yellow. Well, earlier in the flight, it was flashing red. And that means that I'm losing all sorts of like physics calculations and stuff like that, which is a little bit vexing, but not quite as annoying as it was um, having our orbit so closely matched here like this guy is. And just watching these come down, uh, well, this this gap get, get closer and closer every time. Um, but with the coming up of the orbital manoeuvres, I think we're going to get to the point where I'm going to let old me start taking over again because, you know, he was there doing the things. And as you can tell by the way my mouth, mouse pointer is wildly shaking around, I've actually got things to talk about at this time. Uh, right, so what's going on here is I'm waiting for uh, this Kerbal's point to go just a little bit beyond mine when I just pass it. Because what I'll do then is I'll push this orbit back out um, and watch this go... You'll what you'll you'll see it uh, when 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 I when I push my orbit out, this will just kind of start tracking around, uh, and we'll just get it down so that the the the, the meet point is just very very close, um, like that. Right. Let's stop stop stop. Right. So what's our 16 kilometers? Let's see if we can. Is that is that a, a go up? That is a go up, isn't it? 14, 13. Look at that. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Oh, so three three kilometers. That will do. Once we're at three kilometers, we can uh, match our target velocity there. Right, we, we should see a Kerbal around somewhere. Now, he, uh, he might be a, a little bit out of range. Let's get rid of this. This is proper in the way. How do, why can't we close this? Wow, okay, problems here. No, no, you're just gonna leave them there? All right, well, there we go, we've got that. We're, we're gonna just look around and see what's going on. Everything seems all right and quiet. I don't see the Kerbal anywhere and I note that I've done a major oversight of not including lights on this ship design. So, when we get back, remind me that I need to do that. Yeah, because you can do that, right? In real time, yeah? Honest? Alright, so we need to scooch around this orbit again until we get somewhere like this. Um, once we're there, uh, like this is boring as hell. I wish Squad would let us zoom uh, time warp just a little bit faster when when we're trying to chase stuff down. I mean, I understand why they've done... Well, I think I understand why they've done it with all, like, the... You know, when you're travelling so fast, you travel so many, so far in, uh, in a single frame and that can put you through the planet, which leads to all sorts of trouble. Um, but that's just, just my, my musing of why they only let us have it the, so much. If, if you know better, let me know. Okay, here we go. We are coming up to our closest target... Target all? Target all approach? Yes, we're coming up to our class, closest target all approach. So it's time to completely nullify any and all speeds. This one here. Oh, the problem with such tiny and light ships is they spin around like you would not believe. Uh, okay, and at the same time, we're just going to push the marker over that way a bit more. Because we want to head towards him before we completely nullify all our speed hopefully um, and even if that's not the case oh let's stop there even if it's not the case we can then start heading towards him rather than there we go okay that's that's close enough but i'd like to turn around and get a bit more thrust on the go because i know we're covering five kilometers and uh five meters a second that's that's a thousand seconds which is rubbish so let's try and go a little bit faster why am i pointed away what no Sort it out. We're, we're travelling away from him. We don't want to do that. We want to travel towards. Something's wrong there. Full, full power. Um, about that much full power. We don't. We don't want to be going too fast towards him. I really wish that we'd hurry up around this orbit. I, I, sorry, I'm just really not liking not being able to see my spaceship properly. Um, but you know that that's being in orbit around a planet. At least half the time you're in darkness. Well, I suppose it's a little bit under uh, half the time, what with uh, your orbit being slightly bigger than the width of the planet. But 
again, that's just me musing on stuff. Uh, five meters per second, we're about to fly past, and that's not good, so let's just two, one, zero. Yeah, close enough to zero to be zero. Okay, 100 meters. Can the Kerbal fly 100 meters and still be safe? I don't know. Let's just head towards him a little bit like that. Okay, let's swap over to this guy. Hey, dude, can we take control of you? Do you have a jetpack? Okay, let's... I don't know if dropping down is a good idea or not. Uh, actually, trying to match my velocity up with this is going to be awkward. Very awkward. So let's swap over here instead. And there seems to be some small animal dying behind me. I'll, I'll sort that out in some second. Uh, so we're going to come around here and just wait to get as close as possible. And wait, and wait, and wait. Let's just do a bit of time acceleration. Like that. Brilliant. Is that close enough? I don't, I'm not sure if that's close enough, but we're going to start nullifying some more speed. I reckon we can we can get within 10 meters and still be happy, right? I, th I think so. It sounds a little bit dangerous, but we'll, we'll try it anyway. Something like that? That looks good. Oh, I wish I'd done this docking post commentary as well, because, whoa, this is taking forever... But we're going to time accelerate a little bit closer. The problem is that I, I want to do this slowly. And doing this slowly means that, that I do it slowly. I, I, I can't really sum it up better than that. Um, it's an English great. When, when you explain something how you want to do it, you can't really say any better than explaining how you want to do it. Because you explained it so well in that, in that format. Amazing. All right. So we're bringing Cop Tube or something like that. I can't remember what his name is. But we're, we're bringing him in. Got to try and grab that fence right there. Come on, the fence? Ladder. I know what I'm talking about. It might not seem like it at this point in time, but I really do know what I'm talking about. Right, he's in. No, he's on the wrong the wrong one. Oh, okay. So we're going to bust out the jetpack again. Wow, that, that was a bit of an oversight. I feel a little bit bad about it. But there we go. We're in. Okay, right. Whew. Next target. Let's try and find home. Where is home? Home is... Oh, of course it's in full darkness. How could it not be in full darkness? Okay, I'm going to cut here and just just go to, to a place where uh, the Kerbal Space Center is in daylight. Alright guys, so welcome back. Here, I, oh, I think, is this for the peninsula? Is it not? Is this? No, th th this is where we're trying to land. That, that could have been embarrassing. Just, just at this bit here. Um, so, I think we can probably do this without too much in way of uh, manoeuvre nodes because that, that'll be good right let's just kind of ease ease ourselves down we're going to try and skim skim the atmosphere I say skim the atmosphere we're going to try and plunge us into the atmosphere to crash somewhere about here which should hopefully mean we crash somewhere about there um, so if we come over this way yeah look at this perfect we're, we're going to fly over the desert or have we just flown it so we've just flown over the desert we're about to go over, those are the mountains, and that is the actual Kerbal Space Center right over there. So this should, this should work out well. Let's, oh no, we can't, can't time warp like that. Let's time warp like this. Oh gosh, straight into the red numbers. Um, but that's all right, we'll, we'll just do this. Do double the deceleration, should be good, I think, hopefully. Uh, we seem to be plummeting already. Uh, maybe check the map view again and see how we're doing. Uh, let's let's stop there. That that looks good to me. Uh, we might have to make some correctional maneuvers, but that's all right. What we should be able to do now is just kind of point ourselves thuswards. Ah, uh, look, we can see it floating in the water where the uh, the the peninsula that it's on doesn't get land. Uh, doesn't get. Ah, uh, you know what we could have done? We could have probably done some orbital si orbital science whilst we were uh, up here. I didn't think about that at all. I was just like, yeah, let's go rescue someone. Um, who, hopefully, we should have replacing Jeb a lot. Uh, let's cam top. He, he got picked up from the from the orbit. Aside from Jeb, that makes him the most experienced Kerbal on my team. Like, we picked him up from orbit, and Jeb is the only person who's been anywhere in space on my team. So, yay, we've got a new guy. Uh, I'm going to just speed up this, this a little bit more until we hit 
some atmospheric heights. Uh, we are already there. I was kind of hoping for a bit more aero braking. Uh, maybe I should have gone down deeper still. I suppose we are going quite steep. So we've flown over at 30 kilometers up. That, that's all right. We can deal with that. All right, let's drop down. Let's drop down time acceleration a little bit. And we want to try and be looking nose up. So get, get as much drag as possible, hopefully. I don't know if the Kerbal um, Aerodynamics deals with this. Um, I know the I know the whole atmospheric modelling is really really rubbish. So I don't know whether it just goes right. This this entire craft will have a drag of this much, and then just do it like that as if it was a point source, or whether it actually takes into account which way things are drip, uh, uh, are pointing. I don't know. Well, either way, I want to stop going forwards and start going downwards. So if we could could get that on the go, that would be great. We're going to go at four times acceleration. We're four kilometres down, three kilometres to start easing off on the time acceleration and I think I'm gonna pop our parachutes oh, I don't know um, four three hundred maybe uh, somewhere about now there we go and now we just get a nice slow float down I think four kilometers should be all right to um to to, to crash into that not four kilometers four meters per second should be all right to hit the water with though just before we do i am going to give a little bit of a burst on the engine just to just to bring us down even more uh so we're at 70 kilometers can we see any sort of shadow no because the shadow is going to be all the way over there because the sun's all the way over there right okay so there we go last 20 meters wish me luck guys i think now might be a good time for some throttle and we're safe two gerbins back home Woo! recover the vessel and i'd like to say thank you very much for joining me for this uh, rescue mission uh, i will see you next time where hopefully we're going to minma so uh, i think we'll have all the contracts for that oh look we got a whopping 1.7 science there awesome uh we got funds back for stuff and we got brought two crew home Woo! oh right, yeah so i'll see you then when we're going to minma bye